I hope the board is clear. Oh yes, sir. Okay, guys. So the point is, this is the pattern that we'll be analyzing today. Okay. And why, like we are doing the modern defense, right? And in modern defense, I have been recommending to all of you to go for the advanced variations, like we have done Pirk, in which I mentioned to go for the opposite side castling. Then we uh, did the French, in which we saw a lot of Greek gifts. Remember, in which the opponent can never castle on the short side. I guess Krishna and Dia yes, were in the class. And okay, even so this position is just like we did this position. But but there's a slight change. It is basically it's a very theoretical position, and it's called as a Shirov attack. Or later after I guess in after 2000, it's it's called as Wonder Wheel attack. If you want, if you have to search it on Google, you can search it under the heading of Karukan Advanced Variation Wonder Wheel attack. Now, without wasting any further time, let's begin. Now focus guys, full attention, all of you should be on mute for a couple of, like for the introductory phase. The thing is, it starts with e4, c6, d4, d5, and here is where obviously we have to go with pawn e5. And now the point that we have to focus more on is that they will play bishop f5. And the main line of Karukan goes with the exchange of the light square bishop by going to bishop to d3. and we are aware of the main line. So I don't want to focus on that main line uh, today. Rather the move that suggested, the suggested move here is knight c3. Now from here onwards, e6 to just close the pawn chain and focus on the development of the king side pieces. And now g4, bishop goes back. And now the point is earlier when you guys were having, when you guys were at you know, when, when I had introduced Karo Khan to you guys, I had recommended here to go H4 straight away. But now the improvisation is you go Knight to E2. Now, there's a difference between these two moves. If you go H4, they will go H5. And the point is here, what has been realized in the past that black is getting a lot of counterplay. Black is more than comfortable because it is hitting on G4 straight away. And we cannot find it any e6 pawn sacrifices. Remember, in the Karokan, we have we also have e6 pawn sacrifices, but here it, it's not working. So that's why no need to go h4. Knight e2 to prepare knight to f4. Now c5 is the most aggressive way to uh, reply as black. There are a couple of other options, but the point is whenever you're trying to attack on the flank. Now, what do we mean by flank? Corners, sides. If one side is trying to in the opening itself if, if one side is trying to attack on the flank other side has to respond by creating some counterplay on the center you cannot both of them cannot play on the same side right you should never play on the same side if i am creating the attack on the flank by pushing my pawns you have to try to open the center because none of the kings have castled here now here the best reply is um, c5 because now knight c6 will try to pressure on d4 now here is where you will be reaching the position of h4 and now there are two choices basically actually three choices one is c c d4 other is h6 and the third is h5 but remember the position this is the this is the first position that i'll be stopping here because this is where you will be always always be reaching this is a very very popular thematic you will be reaching in most number of your games in the Shirov's attack to this position. And now a good recommendation will be to start taking screenshots and maintain a document in your um, laptop of themes. You know, this is the first theme that you should remember in your mind. Now after H4, there are a couple of options that are there on the board. H5 can be chosen, H6 can be chosen. So I'll be analyzing all of them at the same time. So suppose, so can you just once more to the before move? Sure, sure. Please, please, please. Just a minute. So sure. before move? Before, oh, sorry. Yeah, I mean the same thing, no? Like after C5, the point is you have to go H4. That's the point. Now after H4, yes, so now you can go. after H4, if opponent goes H5, then we'll be going for 
night here and now see now see there are lot many crazy lines that start to happen many many crazy lines now suppose i'm trying to hit the bishop right now focus all of you should be very attentive from here on i'm trying to hit the bishop and if i eat the bishop the g pawn will be coming over here right correct <coughs> yes sir if you go back to bishop h7 which is the basically the best move that black can choose i'll be taking a free pawn i'll be a pawn up right if 97 is chosen saying that okay uh if you take me i'll take you like that the point is i'm having knight b5 because earlier the d6 square was covered by the f8 bishop and now i'm having knight b5 and now the craziness begins knight to c6 knight takes 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 queen d3 the threat is now a lot of threats are now coming on the board suppose knight d4 happens or pawn d4 happens something like these kind of moves happen you have queen check king goes there and now it's completely winning it's completely winning after bishop h3 right i guess we should not uh, go into too much detail for this move because e6 is hanging you know you are having a lot many other options as well like white is having a complete dominant or dominant position on the board if i go back if suppose knight takes happen because he wants to take a free piece i have bishop e3 an intermediate move bishop e7 and now finally a very very nice move and if you are like if you guys are active on the chat i would it's it's a good thing that you guys should um tell your suggestions in the chat box i'll be more than happy to entertain everything or if you want to unmute and tell you can what should we do as white white to play in the chat box please or if you, if you want to unmute if that is even fine but the point is this bishop is under relative pin right that's one of the hints we have and now how to it's basically still very much advantageous for white but how should we continue this position okay so so that is one move that is being suggested okay i agree at some level i agree now so is that mine yeah yeah i agree but there's something better something something way better just focus just focus more i agree that you want to disrupt the king that is fine it is a playable move i'm not denying that okay so the things are yes dia is absolutely correct yeah so the move that is being suggested are uh queen d6 check and knight d6 check now knight d6 is a very nice check because it involves a lot of counterplay it involves f7 fork it involves b7 attack and after this the king is totally tied down the other line which is again uh because you know the point is after queen to g6 check it is a fine move i don't i don't uh, disagree with that at all uh the point is after he goes say up and now if you may want to capture him capture him thing is he's kind of fine after knight c6 he's kind of fine after knight c6 you can go queen g7 but uh, i don't see any issues that he has now okay knight c6 now now they are kind of doing okay knight d6 is more important because it involves some of the f7 attacks so now we are not allowing him to come to d7 because we are having some f7 trades on the board so if he goes here now this is what i wanted from the position this is what i was dreaming from the position and now i am totally fine i can if i want to continue i can just continue by going d7 and play the rest of the game again white is clearly better let's go back so the thing is the main line goes by bishop to h7 knight takes and this was basically played by grandmaster hikaru nakamura us grandmaster he was playing this position as white and after knight c6 because why knight c6 is being played to counter attack on the center if i am attacking on the flank opponent has to start attacking me on the center now pawn takes pawn now see because now here are two good moves 
one is like i agree with both the moves you can even choose bishop e3 i agree with that but there's only one small issue that i see that after pawn takes pawn bishop takes and the thing is this knight is clearly kind of better as compared to the bishop because this bishops never like to defend a single point piece like this bishops never want to defend a single point piece like this right because bishops love open spaces but it's a it's a playable move i'm not denying that open focus it's a playable move so after this the main line goes like i will just capture you you can capture this you can even capture i guess can you capture here i guess you can capture it you even 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 i guess that is also fine but bishop c5 because just to develop a bishop you can think of okay knight g7 is kind of hanging but it's not so much hanging because after say knight g knight g7 king f8 you are winning a tempo by capturing a pawn but uh, after g7 you have to give the tempo back because again you are being kicked right so again you will have to come back somewhere so right now development is more important because opponent also already has a fair share of development on the board so but we are not having that so we have to focus on development and this is a mistake now this happened in the game with hikaru like in the game of hikaru and nakamura played the best move here because now see how to basically start the attack first of all he is trying to opponent is trying to push the pawn in our camp but he is at the same time his bishop is kind of getting closed and his this light square bishop is pointing on this diagonal it means the most open diagonal which is h1 a8 is kind of under some pressure so what nakamura did he first of all captured captures and now what do we do here guys all of you how to activate you don't have to save the knight at all because it's not required right you have to just activate and attack on the light squares figure sorry figure out a very powerful attack on the light squares in the chat come on yes so it's okay, right yes. to play right exactly open okay, this okay just give me a moment something is okay fine in the chat all of you no need to save the knight here because it's time for attack also develop activate and attack this attack involves a lot of crazy ideas okay so one one intermediate move is you are you are talking about that okay so dia krishna is telling me the same moves i don't know okay what about the mahati is saying i text uh e7 i i hope mahati this is the move right yes sir okay open what about you so the same move okay but the point is after this the theme is that if i go here you want to basically try bishop h6 i believe right i guess that's the idea yes sir that even was... say suppose even after knight g7 king f8 bishop h6 i take on c3 you try to create some discourse on me then you are having a fine situation you have knight e6 i guess that's the plan right that you want to go knight e7 check i go here you go bishop h6 i take you and now you try to go double check on me right correct i hope that's the plan yes sir okay yeah suppose after knight to g7 it's a playable move uh i go here but i don't think so bishop h6 is possible because i take and now if you don't want to go bishop h6 the point is if you try to rook now go knight e6 it doesn't work simply and if you try to come back yes sir 
you lose the night so basically we are losing the night anyways we are going to lose the night in future but we did not have any further development we did not go for any further development the second idea that was put forth by dia and krishna was that after take stakes see you should nobody encountered the weakness of c6 so the second idea that was put forth why these guys were bishop to g5 now bishop g5 is a nice move no doubts on that suppose after bishop g5 krishna and dia i go queen to a5 the thing is uh now this this guy is under a pin the knight cannot even move anywhere and now i am trying to take it for free right now you you are but wait let me frame for a second here okay also if anyone wants to ask anything it's not a lecture it's not a lecture class it's just a group class so I, i'll be more than happy I have to say everything can, well, i think i have a line that can give it a meeting sequence okay so it's queen of 3 queen of 3 can... is the move but you played it you played it after bishop g5 you should have gone directly so the point no, is i have an idea after queen of queen f3 here only oh but so they had an There's idea after queen of 3 before okay okay so bishop g5 queen a5 and you want queen f3 yeah and i want to take you want to go queen c6 check no 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 sir. no <laughs> it's kind of fine right no sir okay, okay sorry, sorry i have an absolutely different idea okay, all together don't go for it Contextually, knight g7 check. Knight g7. And now I want to suppose I want to go maybe here. Maybe go queen f7, right? Yeah, we have queen f7. And now after this, and then we can chase the king down. We might even get your queen. Okay, all right. So, and if I go after, might even castle long and give check. <laughs> knight g7. Suppose if I go here. Ninety-six check. Ninety-six, very nice. Yes, ninety-six check. And I go here again. You take now c six. I guess queen c six. Maybe yeah, queen d six. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's kind of the same theme. It is kind of the same theme that I wanted to show on the board. But after this, after queen f three. Uh, okay, so let me just find a defensive Oops. plan. Oh, F6. excuse me, sir. F six. F six. No, no, F six is also fine, but knight g seven still. No, queen c six. And after this, I guess double threats, right? Yeah, double threats are there on the board. So, I, okay, you can take my rook. I take you. and i guess you have to castle or maybe you should try to save the bishop somewhere you have this disco you try to do the same thing without hanging your bishop try to do the same thing without hanging the bishop so suppose after bishop to here takes and now you go queen to f3 same idea but in this case your bishop won't be attacked right krishna can we move yes, forward sir. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go forward. So after uh, queen d, yes. Uh, so, so can we just go like uh, knight h seven? Sure. Uh, hang on. Uh, at which point, uh, Mahati? Which point should we go? Uh, so no. Uh, when like a bishop takes c six. On c six. Uh, and now knight take h six. Knight takes g seven. G six. G seven, G seven. G seven. Okay, G seven. I go here, and now you want to go queen f three. A uh, bishop at six, maybe. Then knight takes. Uh, then knight into e six. So you want to go without queen f three? You are going knight e six. Uh, after knight take e six, then queen f three. Now queen f three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so. 
you want to attack me here and here but the point is i guess can i not save it because i am already uh, it's if i go here you have bishop g5 right and if i go here you have yeah i guess i can go here or not because we can play h5 survives now h5 is very slow then then you'll be losing a lot of material yeah i guess this is also possible but see everybody is finding queen f3 ideas so do that thing without losing your material that's okay. the point in this case the because even in krishna's ideas we are we are reaching to queen f3 even in your idea mahati we are reaching to queen f3 but yes. number of attackers we have on the board are getting reduced if you do queen f3 directly suppose oops yeah now queen f3 now we are trying to hit over here now let's try to analyze even if this guy takes us like this now this is obviously a mistake because of queen takes check and uh, if king goes here i'm taking the bishop with a check that's that's the important part yeah i'm taking the bishop with a tempo on on on, on you so then i am simply plus 2 i guess uh, this is just uh, clearly over after knight d7 or something i can just be plus 3 and be happy right yes okay let's go back now suppose after queen here they won't take suppose they can play something like queen to d7 queen d7 is fairly a uh, logical move now now i go bishop g5 krishna what you were suggesting was kind of correct but what i said that you were doing it one like wrong were, time yes wrong order time. was order was incorrect because now all the fireworks will start guys pawn takes knight is a big blunder basically you are giving up a free piece here but look at the amount of attack you are having the on the flank now what i always say on the lecture that never ever play on the same side if you have chosen your side you have to stick on your side and just play it on right here white is clearly having the flank attack so what do i want i will just sacrifice my knight after bishop e5 suppose this happens now we have to just go for the attack now what is like like i'm having three guys that are having a good participation in the attack but still there's this there's still one one piece left that can come up with a tempo what is that piece very obvious answer anyone please help me out so queen f6 sir rd1 rd1 exactly very good rd1 now rd1 is a tempo on the queen now now see the, this this is this is the line when i was just analyzing this position i guess on thursday or something i just love a couple of lines i i had analyzed a lot of lines over here and if everything goes right there are not many beautiful options now see first of all the he can try to take us like that the idea is that uh, you go here i'll make queen and uh, i'll be again be having a queen that kind of like that so here castle don't do anything at all just castle again the tempo remains and still suppose uh he goes here and now krishna what you were and krishna and mahati what you guys were suggesting 96 idea works because now you go same thing. yes yes because of the queen you can get the queen ah and suppose if he goes if he goes let's say that if he goes here because i don't want to be impartial to the black side i want to just be going here so that i don't allow any dispose to him so i go here and now i go here and not completely lost e6 yes. just, just open everything right it's completely sir, over yes sir, i have yeah. a question why please, castle please. shot when you can just win the queen why castle shot if you can just win the queen uh at which moment you are asking over here you are asking okay nice nice question which is being asked on the board i want the answer in the chat why oh wait this... i understood why because okay, of b1 reason? b1 Okay, now suppose I am saying that fine, I'll just go here. What to do? Come on. You Chip save your. Check and win the rook back. Check. Yeah, exactly. Now do you understand the plan? So I am doing the same idea. I am maintaining the tempo. I am doing the same thing. What is being suggested in the class? So after queen to b seven, and now suppose after this, 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 this is completely finished, right? 
So this wins on this point. Now, obviously, this cannot be captured because I'm threatening mate in one, right? So suppose after f6 is being played, it's just it's just to just to finish the game, and I'll just show you the order that has been analyzed, and this is completely over. That is one. That is just one. That is that is not like end all. This is just one analysis that I did. Now the second one is even more important. Suppose after rook d1, uh, he can go queen b7, I guess directly. No. Um, okay. Let's let's ask the class again. Suppose if I go here, you will follow the same idea. Just tell me the line in just say 30 seconds, guys, quickly, so that we can go forward. Uh, yes. Hmm. Okay. So knight b7, king f8, knight e6. Uh, king g8, knight c5, tempo on the queen, and we are also threatening rook infiltration, right? We are also threatening rook infiltration. So it still works, right? I mean, queen goes wherever the queen wants. Let, let me put it to somewhere, maybe to, I don't know, some square. Where should I put it to? Maybe here. Okay, but now I guess it's it's like I can enter like this as well. I guess rook d7. Right? Or do I have anything? Am I missing something? I guess rook d7 is on the spot. Hmm. I guess rook d7 is just fine. Because after this, I have after after queen goes and takes me, takes, takes, takes. I guess I have this, and I guess I'm having enough material to win the game. I guess this is still winning, right? Because white is simply plus five, white can just play the rest. Of is this line clear? Anyone having any doubts so that we can show the, the the second line? So I guess d4 is the mistake. The point that I wanted to make was that d4 is a mistake here because it opens up the light square diagonal. Now. Apart from d4, if suppose if something like queen c7 is chosen, because let me try to be solid. If queen c7 is chosen, or maybe uh, I'm not so sure if queen b6 can also be chosen, but c7 makes sense because what was black's initial plan? White is trying to attack on flank, black is trying to attack on the center. So that's why I'm choosing queen c7. And now here onwards, after chain change, I go still. I guess this is. So still bishop c c4. <clears throat> Bishop c4. Before that, uh, yes, uh, that move, bishop. Bishop c4. I don't think so. Bishop c4 is possible, no? So it is. Which bishop c4? c4 is here, no? If I'm wait, missing wait, not c4, c4. F4, you're saying? Yeah. Ah, that is fine, but the, the same thing that I always am repeating. Bishops never like a three point piece will never. I won't be giving a three point piece of mine to defend a one point piece. That is not the job of the bishop. The job of the bishop is to create counterplay, to create the attack on the opponent's camp. A pawn likes to defend the other pawn. You know, a rook never likes to defend a pawn. I won't be keeping my rook just to tie it down to have a job of to just defend a single point piece. No. I want to attack, so I can go like this, this, and now even after he takes, I guess this is a fine position. White is plus one, and even this, even then, I guess there's a lot of counterplay happening. Like I just analyzed a couple of variations here. Uh, suppose after knight f6 kind of moves, if you simply want to develop, I guess it's completely over. This is a mistake, I guess. Figure out a line quickly. Active, active, Krishna, active, super active. Winning line. It's a mistake. Knight f6 is a mistake. So I think I know. Six, six, six. Bishop H6. Bishop 2? H6. Bishop H6 check, King E8. Or yes, sir. Bishop. Uh, sir, Bishop now, H6 check. Now, after that? So, after that, the king runs away and then 
I will knight takes f6. Bishop H. Bishop like Bishop H7. Bishop G. Bishop G7. Bishop G7. Bishop G7. Bishop G7. Mm, yes. yes. All right. So I hope this is super clear to you guys. I, I don't think so. There's anything left. Uh, I'll be sharing the PGN to you guys on the WhatsApp group. You guys can just, you know, take that and analyze it on your own. But let me know because we have analyzed the line of H5, right? The, the line that was suggested of H5. So now the, I guess I'll just revise the line. So after knight e2, this is called as the Shirov attack. Shirov pop popularized it, Alexei Shirov popularized it. He was very attacking. He was one of the most attacking players, Alexei Shirov. So he popularized it uh, in the 90s and he was playing very, very nicely these kind of setups. So the second move is c5. Now c5 is, uh, why c5 is being played? Just to attack on the center and now h4. And now guys, we have already seen h5. If you guys can just say that, okay, it's fine. We can go to H6. H6 is basically, H6 was the first option of the opponent because back then there were no, you know, computers to suggest the best move. So they, the black players, you know, they started to play H6 because something had to be figured out. No, how to defend against this kind of thing. So something had to be figured out. So they started playing H6, but later they realized that H6 doesn't work. So if everybody is fine with H5, should we go to H6? Okay. 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 Let's let's go then. So the point is H6 is this this was the uh, move that was very very popular it was a very popular move back in the like when shirov basically started this attack so now bishop e3 just to go for the normal development now if he takes we have knight takes and now followed by f4 f5 knight c6 is the main choice and same story and a bishop will never ever like to defend a single point piece i will never ever make sure that my bishops uh, is being too much defensive so i'll just capture it he can capture it like this because now c5 captures with the bishop is not possible so knight e5 one of the moves and now knight to f4 saving g4 as well as activating the knight bishop goes back and now h5 is not hanging right h5 is not hanging which yes, was sir. hanging in the previous game now here bishop b5 check knight c6 back and Queen e2, just a very, very nice move, queen e2, because let me just show you why, knight e7, castles, and if you are, if you are remembering the French class, like when I was teaching the French defense, is it not a similar kind of pawn structure, guys, if you are aware of the French, it's a similar kind of pawn structure of French, right? Yes, sir, and yeah. In that, the e6 pawn gets overloaded. Whenever we study French from wild side, we try to create something on here, Maybe we try to sacrifice over here and we take something which sits on this side, right? Similar theme we are trying to analyze today. Now after this, it's a basically, it's again a mistake. The mistake because uh, it's hindering the path and it's now making sure that the king is becoming open. So I'll just try to activate uh, and open the king. It's basically the case of uncastled king, right? That if your king has two chances to castle, you should just open up the center files. Even in doing so, if you have to sacrifice something, but here Shirov went way too far and he sacrificed the entire thing. He sacrificed every single piece. The sacrifices start with knight d5, pawn takes, rook d5, queen goes away, h5, uh, kick to the knight, knight goes back, bishop f4, because now the bishop wants to come to d6. And after this, you go back, g5, takes, takes to activate the bishop, rook e1. And now if you notice carefully, opponent is black side is already plus one, right? But his, his, his king is simply tied down. His king cannot even castle because of the rook. And that is why I won't be playing bishop d6 straight away because as soon as I play bishop d6 right now, he can castle. So rook d6, he goes here and now it's completely over. 
Now who will tell me the winning move? Now think, now think. Whenever I say you have to figure out the attack, you should think. Shirao was just, you know, he he only like in 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 eighties, Kasparov in eighties and nineties also. Kasparov was the one called as the 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 attacking machine. Then in two thousand. Anand was called as the attacking machine, and we're back in 90s, early 90s, late 90s, mid 90s. Shirov was one of the attacking machines. So he just knew the sacrifices. In the chat, I'm waiting. You can think for two minutes. Hips, six bishop. Uh, then we are uh, there. I, I guess I can just take a bishop. It was there. See, I'm trying to attack on the center. I'm trying to attack the center king. If you look, my bishop, both the bishops. Yes, very nice, Krishna. Very nice. Is it the correct answer or? Yeah, that that is the correct answer. Oh, oh my god. god. Right? Oh my god. So why to play right? Why to play? Yes, 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 ma'am. Be very nice. Yes. So, whenever we try to attack the opponent's king, which has not castled, we have to be just aware. Aware. We have to just be aware tactically. And I'm sure if I just give you the hint, you guys will be very, very quick to answer. The hint is the e7 knight is a dead piece. It cannot even move anywhere because it's under absolute pin. Look at your pieces. How I knew them. That's how I knew that move. Okay. I first start with the bishop, but then I realized the king is even better. Right. Now, how to basically apply these kind of things? See, there's one thing that is being taught in the class. The second thing is application. Now, queen e7, I'll just take a queen. So the move is rook c6. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. The king is under absolute pin. Rook d7 only move. And now both the pieces are totally dead. They cannot even move anywhere. And now just go here. And now after a couple of moves, after this, this, it was completely over. Opponent resigned. So that is the way to play this Shirao attack. It's not a foolproof attack, mind you. It's not a foolproof attack. I was just trying to make you guys aware that why h6 is a mistake. So h6 is not popular because you simply try to gobble or everything on the center and just try to attack the center. Now, if knight d6, because so suppose if is breaking. Okay. How about now? Is it like how about yes, sir, no, it's okay. Okay. Now suppose uh apart from knight g6, let me try to be more uh trying to make the position kind of interesting. Suppose I choose this move. Queen c7. Now what do we have? Because the idea is now knight g6 is not working because void earlier on he black wanted to simply bring the bishop out and castle. And now he wants to basically, I guess, maybe he wants to castle this side. So now what can we do here? Sacrifice the two of the knights and get the rook on open file onto d5. You want to go 95, 45, 95, 95, rook d5. And uh, after bishop e7, yes, knight d5 is better. But but we calculate the full line knight d5, pawn d5, knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, bishop e7, and then what? So from then bishop e7. e7. How can, sir? How can bishop go to e7? So knight d5, pawn d5, Wait, bishop e7, knight d5, e7. I was saying rook d5, bishop e7. 
Bishop what's the problem with Bishop E7? It looks totally fine. Oh, you want to cast the king. Right, okay. Then I, then I can play rook okay. G1 and start an attack. But you'll be losing a lot of material for that. So let's try that. Knight D5, 1D5, Knight D5, Knight D5, 2D5, and Bishop E7. Okay. Takes. Bishop now comes out and you're going to castle. Yes. Now I'm trying to castle just. How do we? Yes, sir. Which should not be done. Yes. It shouldn't be done. What's that? G5. G5. Bishop G5? Pawn g5. Okay. Now say, suppose if I cancel. So we'll take the pawn. Yeah. Open up the king's Pawn space. takes pawn. Okay. Suppose oh, bro, I after pawn takes pawn, I think I'll give check and take. Oh, wait. What? Okay. okay blocking, I think I can just take the pawn. That again. You can just take the pawn, sir. I think you can just take the pawn. So I'll take the pawn. Now okay. what? So now you have to yeah, go somewhere else, sir. At first. Hmm. Let's try it. Like the bishop much. takes pawn. No, then no, rook no. will take. Rook will take. There's then, two then, rooks defending that pawn. There's two rooks. That's yes, insane, yes, sir. sir. There's literally checkmate here. Rook G1, Rook G1, sir. Rook G1. No, no. Then Bishop G6 back. You can start by this. I guess this is fine. And after this, I guess we have take here. And he can take me. I can take him again. If he tries to take me again, I guess it's over. Okay, so that is also fine. Now I wanted to analyze one more thing. Suppose if I try to kick you. So this is very, very similar to French because in French structures, if if you are having the notations, guys, in French structures, always we try to sacrifice over here, right? Some in sometimes we try to sacrifice and try to win something, right? So this Karokan has not turned out to be kind of a similar French structure in which there's not a C5 pawn over here. That's the only difference and you don't have D4 pawn. Okay, so let's try to go for the final variation. The attack, direct attack. Like suppose after this, instead of, instead of after H4, suppose I guess C D4 happens. Now, oops, my mistake, D4. I go here and now pawn f4. The idea that I already mentioned, I want to just straight away go for the kill. And now if you take me, I go check, you go here and I go here. I have basically, I'm down a pawn, but you capture, capture me, I capture, capture. And now I capture this, right? And I'm again having huge, huge uh, control of the center. One move is this. Other move, I guess, over here can be. Uh, I guess there was something else that I analyzed. Yeah, rook h4, a very nice move. Rook h4. Why? Because obviously I cannot take because of rook h1. And if I take him, queen h4 is with a tempo check. So here I will just, because I'm again attacking on the e and f, so I'll just go rook f1. And now after he takes, I'll go e6. And now just see. White has already sacrificed three pawns. Can you see that? White is going to sacrifice the fourth one. Queen e2. Just see how insane it gets. Queen goes here. Bishop g5. Sacrificing the full piece after four pawns. A full piece. The idea is just to remove the defender. You take and now I start the attack. And now I jump on the attack. And now after a couple of moves, it's completely over. And now I just win the queen and I'm having, it's the, it's like equal game, but, uh, 
uh, I guess this is where white is very comfortable at. So after sacrificing everything, uh, we got the queen and now the game is fairly equal, but your king is much safer as compared to the black king. Okay. So I'll the I guess uh, I'll be stopping here and now I'll be taking the questions. If you are having any question in any variations guys, we can take the questions. Now also I want to say that how to basically play this situation. So basically I want you guys to have this position and take the screenshot of this position. It is white to play from here on and play this position with first of all level 6. Try to win this position against level 6 and then try to play the same thing with level 7. So can you send the same position in WhatsApp? Okay. Because I don't have a phone to take the screenshot. All right. All right, I'll do that. Has anyone taken the screenshot? Krishna, have you taken the screenshot? Send it on WhatsApp group, okay? Uh, okay. And now let me tell you how do you have to practice. Try to find your equilibrium. WhatsApp group. Yeah, the DPP. One second. Uh, DPP. And guys. Okay, here I am this, sending it. Regarding the DPPs, no? Like basically I'm, I'm using this book. So I'll make sure that you guys are able to complete this book in the DPPs. Maybe, you know, six months down the line, I'll be making sure that you guys are able to complete this book. But do regularly. No, no break should be there. So what I'll be doing, I won't be sending the DPPs on on uh, Sundays. So Sundays will be rest days. Rest apart from Sundays, I'll be sharing the DPPs on a daily basis. But I expect everybody to start participating and do it honestly. Okay, because regular practice is super important and I'll be selecting some themes. It's not like I just open the book and I when whatever comes to my mind, I just keep the foot and send it on the group. No. I today we did Bishop Pawn and games, right? I guess yesterday, day before yesterday, I guess we did Rook, Rook and uh, you were having, I guess, attackers traffic or something like that in the Rook endings, right? Krishna, I guess, if, if, if I'm correct. Then I'll be sharing some Lucina positions, try to win the Lucina positions. I'll be sending some complex Philidor Lucina positions, try to win, win those positions. That will even give you a sense of accomplishment, okay? Okay, so I'll be stopping here. And uh, Krishna, any doubts? Mahati, how about you? It was your first class. Did you, did you have, uh, are you having any doubts or like uh, was the lecture clear to you? I hope I did not uh, confuse or anything. No, sir, no, sir, it was good. Okay, okay, that's, that's good to me. So the thing is now, what I'll be doing, so what I, I was just saying that uh, you should practice this thing first of all with level 6 win with level 6 then we will try to go for level 7 and once you do these things um, make sure that you are already logged in because I will be trying to analyze and uh, same story we will be doing in the other next week now today was all about Shirov's attack next Saturday it will be everything about and now Karukan, I guess Karukan is white is done. It's more than done. If Karukan happens on the board, you can choose Shirov's attack. And trust me, the players who are under 2000, they can, they can very, very easily go wrong. Very, very easily they can go wrong. I have went wrong by playing Karukan on, in these situations. So, so any, anyways, so I'll be stopping here and I'll be seeing you, all of you on the lecture. Take care. Bye, Bye. sir. Bye, bye, take care, guys. Bye, sir. Good night, bye, bye, good night.